getting answers for grieving families long after they've lost their loved one. CBS 6 Crime Insider John Burkett is launching a new segment today that is meant to do just that. John is here to explain more about the series, but first, the unsolved murder we're working to help police find closure to. I'm so tired of people playing God and just running around here taking people's lives. Like, it's, it's sickening. He was uh, tied to this metal chair. This chair was overturned. Yeah, he was tortured and, I mean, he was real bad. I wouldn't want to see that done to my worst enemy. That's the one thing that gets me about this case in general, is this guy ran terrified to his death and end up getting executed on a front porch. It's one of the most brutal murders that I've seen. Taj had four bullet holes in the back of his head. That's a vicious act. It was very personal. He was beat. You got him naked. Tied to a chair. If you live right across the street, I'm sure you, can, you could have seen his body. Somebody on that street saw something. If you have gunshots going off in the neighborhood, somebody's going to look. These questions could be answered if they will get into his Facebook. Two days after he was murdered, his Facebook was deactivated. He may have chatted with his killer. And then that chair is still on the porch. As an evidence collector of forensics, you would think they would take the chair with them. I've heard from multiple people that he's a wonderful father. He was a wonderful father. And it's sad that my grandson only got two years with his father, because he was, he was a good father. And John Burkett is here. This is called Crime Insider Reopen the Case. This case is from 2018. It is, from May, May 3rd of 2018. And what about this particular case stood out for you? Well, what stood out, obviously, is when you have video of his son holding his picture, it, it, it's the heartstrings. His son is the same age as my daughter. So, uh, and when he lost his dad, he was only two years old. The other strange thing about this case is it was presumed he was going to Virginia State to play basketball with his buddies, but no one can really say if he ever showed up there or not. And one of the things about this series is you're going to let the people involved tell the story. You talk to the mom, you talk to the dad in this case. The most important thing is letting the victims and survivors tell their part of the story. Uh, we did speak to mom. Mom is adamant that uh, she believes Facebook has the answers because you heard there someone deactivated his account two days later. Dad's on the same page. We talked to Dad in New Jersey by phone on our uh, Reopen the Case podcast. And uh, he talked for about 15 minutes about his, uh, his theory on what happened to his son and how he's not given up. And sometimes there is just in a case one important piece of evidence. In this case, maybe the chair. And that is why you call it the chair. Right. The chair in this case, you heard it's a big piece of evidence that was left behind. Now, forensics, they could have dusted it for prints or whatever there. But Taj was found bound to that chair, stripped naked that morning. And the chief of police, and I, we were both talking about it, somebody had to have seen something on that street. It was a lot of loud gunshots that night. And they think that somebody on that street may have the clue that opens this, this case up. And police are working with you in getting to the bottom of this. They situation. are, and they've assigned a new, new detective to the case as well. All right, John Burkett, thank you so much. Crime Insider reopened the case debuts tonight on the CBS 6 News at 6.